I'm in Horsens in uh, Denmark, in eastern Jutland, and I'm staying at the city campsite, which is located on the fjord, the lake, and I'm going to cycle in this area for a few days in uh, Kislandet. It's a hilly, hilly area made by the glaciers long, long time ago, rolling hills, forests, small lakes, a very subtle landscape. I think that's the best way you can describe it. Today we're cycling on an old train track towards Silgeborg. It's uh, 60 kilometers from Horsens to Silgeborg. It's not flat, you're going up a lot and then down and up and down. It's called the Bielebanestien, which I probably pronounced totally wrong. There's an old bridge where the old trains used to go. Till they got new trains, then the, the bridge was too small and they actually covered it totally with sand. They made a dam out of it, it took years to do that. And a few years ago, they uh, decided they wanted to have the bridge back. And you can cycle now over that old bridge. Here behind me, it's a shelter. In Denmark, you find a lot of these kind of shelters where you can camp. So it's a little house and you can put your sleeping bag there, your mattress, and you can just stay over here. And there's a toilet here as well. It's, it's very basic, but you know, at least you know, you can stay here, you're allowed to stay here. And that's pretty good. So you can find these shelters uh, all over in Denmark. Today it's time for a little bit of island hopping. We cycle along the lake of Hursens and then we go to Aure, which is connected uh, by a bridge. And then we take the ferry to Jarne. That's where I am right now. If you go in between those islands, you actually have to make a reservation for the boat. Today I'm cycling with two friends and uh, yeah, we had to reserve a boat and then we basically had a private boat. Go to this island, spend a few hours here before we take the ferry to the mainland.
campsite on this island as well. It's very small. I think it's, let's see, 10 kilometers long or something, maybe less. It's very short. This beach, wow. So you can stay on the campsite. I, I would love to come back here and just stay on the campsite and stay here for a few days and relax. Be on the beach. Very, uh, it's very peaceful. And uh, the Danish are, you know, they always, always seem so happy. <laughs> they all, they all, they're all like have a smile on their face. It's, it's cool. But wow, if you live here. Rabbits. That's what this island and the lava is famous for. When you cycle over here, you can see rabbit holes everywhere. <laughs> Unfortunately, when we just arrived, it was pretty cloudy and rainy, but we took this track. It's it's pretty cool. It's just next to the sea. It's a little bit stones here and there. You know, it's like an adventurous trip. No one there, hardly anyone. We saw two people walking by. <laughs> hours here went to the crow where we had some lunch and then suddenly it got a bit better it's dry blue sky the island is very peaceful it's very very quiet well it is now i'm here in september start of september during the week the owner of the crow uh, told me that like he's fully booked for next summer he has 10 hotel rooms fully booked so in the summer it gets very busy with danish swedish norwegian people uh, but now in September, there's, it's, it, there's no one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think, you know, when you go to an island, it's an all own world there. Uh, you can always really feel that uh, island people are island people. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's peaceful. It's always going a step back, very quiet. Love that.
Person of Horses, which is located on a hill, so if you're on the bicycle, you have to do a tiny bit of climbing. And this prison was opened in 1853, and actually, only closed a few years ago, in 2006. And uh, now it's a museum uh, where you can look around. The idea was that criminals would not only be penalized, but they also would work on rehabilitation, going back to society. So they were disciplined, they had to work, and they learned a lot about religion, so make them proper citizens again. In the Second World War, a lot of people had to stay in one cell together, of course used by the Germans. Then later on, people who were actually helping the Germans got in prison when, uh, when Denmark was a free country again. Thank you for watching. Uh, it would be great if you would like this video and subscribe. Thank you. See you next week. Keep cycling. <laughs>